Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever in the world you might be watching. One of the formulas that beginners in Excel often have a little bit of trouble with is VLOOKUP. There are lots of VLOOKUP videos on YouTube, but I wanted to make it very, very easy to understand. And this is the approach that we will take. Down here, I have a set of data three names with the people's ages and their fictitious phone numbers. What I want to be able to do is to type one of the names in this cell here in G24 and have Excel look in the data and tell me the answer that I need from the age or the phone number. And the way it works quite simply is this. Here I have five points that surround this particular formula. As we look at each point, we'll put a tick in the checkbox so that we know where we are. So first of all, we want to have a cell to enter the information that we want to look up. In this case, it is G24 down here. Then I need to have the range containing the data and we ignore the headings. The range containing the data is from this cell down to this cell. Then I need to tell Excel in the formula which column has the answer. This is the part that tricks most people because here I've shown headings column 1, column 2 and column 3. I count from the left as you saw. And we will include the column that has the answer that we're looking for in the formula. I then use the fourth argument which is false which finds the first exact match for the data that I have queried here in this cell. If I do not use false then the data in the first column must be sorted in ascending order. I always use false because it overcomes any problems at all. Now, let's look at the formula. I've already typed a formula in this cell that I can see here. Equal, VLOOKUP, and open a bracket. Then I'm saying, look in cell G24, and a comma. Then I have dragged through that range, which is G20 to I22, followed by a comma. And then I've said, I want to know the phone number of one of the people. So I use column 3 as my third argument. Then I use the word false, which finds the first exact match. I close the bracket, and let's see how it works. First of all, I'll enter in here. I want to find Mary's phone number. Mary. And Excel says Mary's phone number is 4564325. That's fine. Let's look at Bill's phone number. So in here, I'll type Bill, and when I press enter, there is Bill's phone number. And you can rest assured that Tom's phone number would work in exactly the same way. Now let's suppose that I wanted to see their ages. The ages are in column 2, so what I need to do in the formula is to change the 3 to a 2. And when I press enter, it shows me that Bill's age is 23. Let's look at Tom's age. I want to know that Tom is 34. So that's how VLOOKUP works in its most basic form. You can have as many uh, items as you want in different columns, salaries, addresses, whatever it might be. VLOOKUP works in exactly the same way, irrespective of the number of columns that you have. Just remember to think about the column number that you want to use in the formula. Thank you so much for watching. You can download this file for free for practice sake if you wish from the link that is shown in the description below the video. Again, thanks for watching. Bye for now.